you would like to perhaps, you know, like what you would like, and, and, and I'd like for you to pray for me too. But don't just pray for me. I want to ask you a favor. I don't know the actual phone number, uh, you know, of you know, the station, but I'd like to ask you something. If you want to see Father Michael, in the, at the TV station, maybe first on the line of the Southwest, their, their um, uh, live TV, you know, show they have. And then maybe I could have a 30-minute episode a week. That way I could reach more people through TV. But I need, I need to be able to talk to them, and I know I need to talk to Tommy Cooper, too. So, but like I said, you know, this is the, the weekend, and I, I mean, excuse me, the the Thanksgiving week and the holidays. I understand they probably got a skeleton crew, but if you want to, go ahead. It's uh, it's um, uh, God's, Learning God's Learning Channel in Midland, Texas. If you really want to hear Father Michael, uh, you know me, you know, call him and tell him you want me. You want me? If you get everybody, tell them, tell everybody else, keep calling them, keep calling them. Tell them you want me, and then you'll, and then, and then that way, you know, I would, something can be arranged, and that way I can at least for 30 minutes a week be able to reach more people and get them saved and where they don't have to go to hell and they don't have to burn forever. You know, that, that's what the whole thing's about. And I, like I've always said, I'm not taking a salary for this. I'm not whatsoever. Is I'm doing it to get people saved, not to get rich. I'm not trying to be like one of the, the the former. I'm getting off on a bunny trail here, but but um I, I'm you know I'm not like some of these former you know TV ministers that have been out there like Benny Hinn, you know him and all his lies and. And I found out last night, actually, that he stayed in uh, hotel rooms and stuff at $25,000 a night. I like to have fainted. And then all the private jets and having their own cook, actually, on a private jet. And here this guy is using all this, and there's a bunch of other ones, too. Using all that money that God, you know, that, that, that people thought that, that they were giving it to God and God's work. And all it was is to line the pockets of those type of ministers. That's why God it struck them down. And, and I'm glad he did. And there's, there's a few more out there still. He's going to get them. He'll strike them down. He gets mad. See, God doesn't like it when people play with his people. He, lo he loves his people. He loves you. He loves me. He gets mad about it, and eventually he will strike them down. He has in the past. He'll do it again. Just You just wait. But I just got off on a bunny trail there. I, you have to, I have to apologize a little bit. I just got a little, I got just a little bit, you know, angry about, you know, how people rip other people off in the name of Jesus, but that just makes me mad. So forgive me for that. But I'm... Uh, but, you know, and, and, and for the reason of this. Now, people, have, you know, if you're not saved right now, you're going to hell. If you die, you're going to hell. You need to get saved today. You need to do this today. You need to do it right now. And, you know, I ask, I ask you all to download, subscribe. Perhaps uh, download for someone else that might need to hear my message. Perhaps they could get saved. That's the idea. And stay saved. So I want to ask you a question right now. Now, it should be pretty easy. But think about it. If you wanted to spend an eternity somewhere after you died, where would you rather spend it? Would you rather spend it in a nice place where there's no sorrow or no pain, no tears up there as we are promised in the Bible? Or would you rather go to a place of fiery torment of hellfire damnation and brimstone where the worm dieth not forever and be in torment? Would you was seriously, or you know, anyone that had hadn't lost their faculties, I guess, that would would not want to go there. They would go, rather go to the 
yet to heaven to a nice place. So let me ask you questions. Um, yeah, I just want to say if you're ready to get saved, you're ready to go to heaven, to make sure you go to heaven, I want you to pray this prayer with me. All right, say that, Father God, in Jesus' name, forgive me of my sins in word, thought, and deed. In Jesus' name, amen. Wonderful. If you just prayed that prayer, you are a Christian now. Hallelujah. Welcome to the world of Christianity. If you had backslidden, you prayed that prayer, welcome back. Stay here. Stay within the parameters of Christianity. Do not divert. I'm telling you, that's, that's a message I got for somebody out there. It's a message. Now, yes, and uh, there is one thing, you know, the Bible does require that, you know, once you are saved, you do get baptized. However, with this devil's virus going on, you know, and some states still on lockdown, I you know, there's not a whole lot of baptistries are open right now, and a lot a lot of people kind of don't trust it so much because it's just you know a baptistry for a whole bunch of people, and I can understand that. And if I can understand that, just being a, a human priest, how much more would our Lord Jesus Christ understand that? If you die after you got saved and you died and you didn't get baptized because of this devil's virus, Jesus would know. He would automatically know. But I also like to say, you know, what you need to also do is get yourself into a Bible-based church. Investigate this church. Find out exactly, it, it, just in case, you know, they may not believe in something that you do. Uh, perhaps you may be in your 50s and you decided, okay, I wanted to go to this church. And you've probably been smoking for 25 or 30 years, uh, tobacco. And um, uh, they um, and they would shun you because of that. And, and a lot of times people do that. And they think, well, all these holy people did me wrong like that. So, and then they get mad at, at God. And that's exactly what the devil wants. He wants people to get mad at God where he's got them. He controls your life. If you're, if you're not under the blood of Jesus, if you're not saved, the, the, the devil can get a hold of you anytime he wants to, and your children, and whoever else in your family. The devil, he can get you. He can do things to you. He can ruin your marriage. He can make it, make it actually make you go bankrupt. He can do all kinds of things against you. But that's because you're, any of you are not saved. And any of you that, that do not believe that, you know, Jesus Christ is the Son of God, then that is what will happen to you because you have no protection. You have to have the protection of Jesus Christ or the demons and the devils of this earth can do anything they want to to you. So I highly suggest that you stay saved. And if you didn't get saved, please download this and listen to it again. And when it comes time for the altar call, go through it. It doesn't matter. It hasn't, didn't have to be the very first time I recorded this, which is now, but, but it can be later. Okay, then, like I said, one more time, thank you all for letting, you know, you know, for uh, listening to me. And I'm just letting you know, remember now, I don't take, I, I've done this for over a year and a half. I take no, I take no, um, I, I, I just take no money for this. I take no salary for this. Uh, no one has given me any money for what I've done. I've done this over a year and a half now. But like I said, my prime directive is to get people saved and get them saved and teach a little bit about the Word of God and get them in a Bible-based church somewhere. That's the whole idea. Of course, I have many, many other visions if my ministry got big enough, but let's just stop and start where we're at. And, you know, I just wanted to go ahead and uh, end my uh, podcast, you know, by, by by thanking all of you, you know. And uh, I just wanted to say Father Michael loves you. And if no one has said they love you today, just 
I, I say that I love you and, and I just please feel my very long, big and long arms around you. <laughs> you are loved in Jesus name. Okay. Um, um, I am going to close out by doing this like I do sometimes. Okay. Now I want you to claim your healing. I want you and, and whatever it is you need in life. I want you to say it, and then in five seconds, I'll give the blessing. Go. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. We certainly hope that you enjoyed listening to Praying for a Hurting World with Father Michael and Father Michael's Ministries. Wasn't that preaching powerful? And please don't hesitate to contact God's Learning Channel. Let me ensure that the contact information is, is on their website or, 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 or <laughs> Google it. If you like what you hear, please subscribe and become a part of, of the Praying for a Hurting World family. This is Father Michael with Father Michael's Ministry saying until next time, take care and God bless you.